Hello my Sock Universe to the final review video uh, of the past weekend. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give Feyenoord some love because their rise has been pretty remarkable. Uh, and if we adjust for uh, games played, Feyenoord at the moment would actually be even first in the Eredivisie table. Take that Ajax, as the title says. I have been saying it consistently. They had this one great game at home to Dortmund, but in between the performance were all kind of so and so and not very convincing. I don't want to say there's trouble in Amsterdam yet, but the results are, are not as outstanding as they used to be. And Feyenoord and PSV are right there. I, I want to start this video um, unusual in a way uh, in Ligue 1 because you usually start with the Eredivisie um, where I only saw one game but it was a good game it was it was not a loss against Troyes 4-0 victory loss is I don't want to say it's last season's little because most likely they will not challenge for the title as PSG is so far for it without even playing well but loss might be the second force at the moment in France which actually means also I have to get a loss shirt yeah it's that bad <laughs> at the moment. I need a few more French shirts anyway, because I have here three teams from Ligue 2. I love all three of these jerseys a whole lot, but you know, it would be nice to have here Ligue 1 a little bit more uh, Eredivisie teams as well. But Lens are uh, really, really impressive uh, keeping up there. Um, Bordeaux against PSG. I have to say for the first 20, 25 minutes, Bordeaux really gave it their all. Bordeaux is also a team kind of finding themselves in trouble and having chances and PSG not looking all that well. However, once Mbappé serves up Neymar, the game switched and suddenly PSG looked kind of all right. Uh, probably the best team performance of the season in many ways with Neymar then uh, again being assisted by Mbappé scoring a double and without Messi and I have been saying it previous. Take one of the superstars out and you actually have a proper team in a way there. Um, it's the question is which one do you leave out? But you know, we saw Mbappé with Messi working well, we saw Mbappé with Neymar work, working well. I want to see if Neymar and Messi can work well, but I think there needs to be some sort of relation. You cannot play all three of them up front. And then Van Aldam even sets up Mbappé and in the 63rd minute it's all cruising. PSG fully deserving of the 3-0 lead. However, it was not meant to be a 3-0 win because Bordeaux fight back and get two late, late goals. Not quite what um, was happening in Vigo a little bit earlier. But Elise uh, assists by Adli, who I actually have to, have to say I was looking forward to watching because he belongs to Milan and he will come to Milan very, very soon. Uh, especially for for seven, Bordeaux was really good. I actually liked what I was seeing. And then um, by Nyang... Uh, makes it 2-3 and you think, yeah, there is something. No, there was nothing happening. PSG, actually, as I said, for most of the time, this was probably more, one of the more convincing uh, performances. And what also helped PSG is that everyone, except Lens, dropped points. So PSG is so far ahead that there's no way that they're not becoming champions this season. Marseille, draw, uh, dropping points. Monaco, nil-nil. Uh, Monaco is any and in, in, anywhere beyond anything. Nice losing at home to Montpellier and then uh, very late on Rennes completely destroying Lyon. Uh, we'll come to that because first of all I want to mention the Saint-Étienne comeback. Another comeback. It was a weekend of comebacks in many ways. They were 2 nil down in the 64th minute to Clermont Foot. Uh, and then uh, Nordin uh, gives them in the 78th a lifeline and in the stoppage time they score twice through Carrasso and so. Uh, to make it through to a uh, three twos uh, Saint Etienne, definitely there's also quite some unrest there. Fans not being happy, blah 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 blah. Maybe this gives them a shot in the arm. Ren against Lyon, uh, edge pretty bad, pretty bad for Lyon. Uh, if you're a Lyon fan, uh, this must have been totally embarrassing because the 4 1 was a flattering scoreline. Uh, Ren was outclassing him in every so way goals through the board just before the half and then Traoré Truff, and Truffer, Truffer, uh scoring two in the 83rd it's a four nil uh every bit of four nil as it can can be and to show kind of the dysfunction uh in, in the team I mean Peter Bosch he was already kind of so and so with Leverkusen so I don't know why he got the Lyon job uh and Lyon can play great but it was not the uh, time time to be and then the the fight between Awa and Paquita who's gonna take the penalty at 4 nil to pull one back just a mess Lyon just a mess Lyon and in a way Ligue 1 I love Ligue 1 but this season it's it's a, it's a PSG league 
they not been playing well and they are 10 points ahead of everyone else. Rendo is a team that might actually join up up there. At the moment, it's really, really tight between Lars, Nice, Marseille and Ren. I actually, I'm tipping Ren uh, and Lars. Those are the teams that seem to be to come in second and third most likely at this point. But, you know, the other teams have more talent. So, it uh, will be interesting to see. And then going over to the Netherlands. Um, PSV getting a former win at Sittard. Really, really comfortable uh, there. Feyenoord. I'm very Feyenoord. Uh, beating AZ in kind of what was the marquee game of the weekend. Um, with a very late goal by Adessas. 1-0. Uh, but you know, they get the wins. Feyenoord has something about them. I, of course, it's former last captain Trauner who is lift lifting them. Nah, I think uh, it's, uh, they hired the former AZ coach and he's kind of taking Feyenoord in a different direction. Which is good because I think the Netherlands also need a strong Feyenoord. If the top three are doing well in, in the Netherlands, it's a better, better league. And then if someone else could join in, like last season was for a while we tested, well, that would be great. But what was really remarkable is to me that Ajax who had completely outclassed any other uh, promoted team at home, most not, not, not with the 9-0 against Cambuur, against the go-ahead Eagles, no goal, no goal. They manage a 0-0 draw, yes, they, I mean, the statistics are rather impressive, with 76% of the ball, 29-2 to two shots, However, there were only five shots on goal and um, both of uh, the uh, the Deventer goals. Go ahead, Eagles being from Deventer, De 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 both of those went on goal. So yeah, um, as I said, as something not quite right about this Ajax team. Um, they can play wonderful, but at the moment I don't find them clicking and maybe it's good for them to have a tight, tight title race. I, as I said, they look primed to have a deep run in Europe. I, I'm I, I'm not 100% yet. I would love to see it, but I'm not 100% on that yet. So yeah, that was it from me from France and the Netherlands. Uh, please drop anything below if you want to add something. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe with that have a good day